If you're happy and you know it's Zydeco, if you're happy and you know it's Monge, if you're happy and you know it, nothing ever will help you show it. If you're happy and you know it, that's the ball. TV show coming to you from Black Gold Casino in Doosan. How about a hand for the Black Gold in Doosan? I think they're excited. I think they are excited. Well, they heard the sound check. Oh, yeah. And they got a couple of new guys. They got one on this side of the stage and one on this side of the stage, and a couple of others almost kind of new guys. Uh, but the one in the front right here, I've been seeing him a long time right Brand now. Brand new. They one to my right. I, uh, I don't him know. right there? I don't know. He's real new. I don't know. We, we got to get his credentials later. Yeah. He's, if he's old enough to be in here. Well, it's a school night, so I don't know how long he can stay. That's right. Too. That's so right. we'll try to get all the work done. Speaking of all the work done, with work comes fun. And that's what you have all the time at Black Gold Casino in so. See all those machines, how they all lit up? See all that? Then they, they start flashing and everything. That's and then, right. The hostess goes dish out some money, and the players put that in their pocket. And next thing you know, they're putting some more money in their pocket. And then what happens? Well, met la gent d'un poche ici, la première fois. Et la deuxième fois, not la gent d'un poche ici. Et sur un joli, bien bon nuit, dot piast d'un billfold. It happens all the time right here, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Black Gold Casino and Deuce on the north side of I-10. You don't have to ask them what time they open and close. 24-7. Can I get a beer at 3 in the morning? Yes, you can. Can I get a shot of whiskey at 4.30 in the morning? Yes, you can. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But you might be here at some point where you get hungry, little buck. That's right. Then, uh, so they got a great restaurant on the same roof, one door. If you had Black Gold Casino, one door, it's Rascal's Cajun Restaurant. They got... The menu is fantastic. I just walked through there, and, and, and they had so many people ordering off the menu, but they had a lot of people taking advantage of the special tonight on Wednesdays. Oh, the special. Let's see. Or so you can order anything off the menu. Today is Wednesday. Uh, special. Uh, I think it's a nice piece of beef. I think they call it a ribeye. They call it a steak. A ribeye rib, 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 steak. A, a ribeye steak. Ribeye steak. And it's about this big. I've seen them before, and I've had them before. And uh, so you get your potato, get your salad, something like that. Uh, usually, I would think this day and age with inflation, it's probably be hitting close to thirty dollars now, huh? You're right, but not over here. But not over here. Less than twenty. Less than twenty. So you want to take your date out here on Wednesday night, whether we're here or not. Still steak night, ribeye steak, a great deal. But wait, there's more. Thursday on the buffet. This is popular amongst the uh, the working class that work during the day and they work real hard and they're getting towards the end of the week and they they're hungry on a Thursday and they like. Man, I like to eat some fried chicken. And I fried like to, chicken. I like to eat a lot of fried chicken, like a buffet worth. They got it over here at Rascals. They got it over here. So you can take apart the whole chicken. You can go from the wing to the leg to the breast to the thigh, all of that. Or if you're a breast man or a thigh man, you can work all the way through on that. If you just want the legs, you can eat only the legs. All legs right there with all the sides. And that's on the buffet. On a buffet. On the buffet. And also they have menu items. You can order po' boys, hamburgers, all of that is great. But there's one more. With that Friday buffet. Every Friday is Good Friday. Seafood on a buffet. So we got the fried fish, fried shrimp, seafood gumbo. And then all kind of other stuff. All kind of other stuff. And it don't cost you a whole lot of money. And I stopped the other day just to get a good home-brewed sweet tea. And the sweet tea is dang good, too, right there. It was sweet? Yeah, it was sweet. And it was just good. Right. And it was good. Hit the spot right there. And don't forget about ShopRite. ShopRite Tobacco Plus with the great deal on the fuel, the quality Exxon fuel. That's right. The name says it all. ShopRite. So they, they got all kind of things in there. They got some little souvenirs. Uh, they got this place you travel to. They got like a, some kind of, I don't know, little thing that makes dams in the water. That, yeah, over there in Texas. That would be our version of it because they got everything over there. You want yeah. some pork skins or pork cracklings, chicken cracklings, boudin, uh, whatever. All your levels of alcohol. Uh -huh. hard, all of Hard, medium, and beer, low. Beer, wine, and whiskey. Oh, and more. And then, like, and ice. We gotta hit the ice. They make their own ice here, so it's not imported from China. Their own ice, 89 cents a bag for a nice size bag. That's right. Then they got the bigger bag. It's a little bit more. Yeah, just a little bit more for almost twice the ice. You want to check them out right here, north side of I-10. Look for the American flag, which is an honor to 
our veterans right there. They have a little veterans park right there. So you can walk among there and remember your family members that were veterans that are no longer with us. And if you're a veteran still, yes, please come check that out as well. All right, I think we got everybody. I think so. Now it's time to start the dancing. This man is, this guy in the front behind me, I don't think he's been on the show before. In fact, I know he hasn't. A couple of other guys have. It's going to be great. La musique française de vieux temps pour danser avec Sue. You see, right here at Black Gold Casino and do so for the Swamp Roll TV show, Delta Media. Who we got? Philip Bebear and the Crazy Cajuns. Hit it. <laughs>
crazy occasion. It's sounding good already with the Amade two step and a beautiful little wall. So we got a whole lot more. But before we go to the commercial break, Phil, y'all got another one ready to go? Let's do it. To the Swamp Road TV show, we'll film live here at Black Gold Casino and do something. I say this every time, and I'm gonna keep saying it. If you're online watching this at KDCJ.com or on YouTube, open up one of those windows or on the internet and, and type in LafayetteTravel.com because they're one of our big sponsors. Festival season is kicking off right now. They got everything going on in Lafayette right now. Lafayette Travel is gonna tell you what's going on. Come to Lafayette. LafayetteTravel.com because they help make the Swamp and Road TV show possible. So, Buck, we were talking about, uh, you know, ShopRite Tobacco Plus. That's right. I stopped there the other day to get me some gas and something like that. Yeah. So I'm talking to the young lady there, and yeah. sometimes I ask him, uh, did he still do that show there over here behind? Yeah. She knew. She knew. She says, oh, yeah, I'll watch it. She says, I'd like you to give a shout-out. I think it's to her grandparents. 
Wilson Ledoux and Ethleen Ledoux. Hello to y'all right there. They don't know I was doing this, but your granddaughter's thinking about you. I like how you kept that receipt for that long. I kept it that long, yeah, and that's only like a few four or five days. I, I can't find my receipt from today that <laughs> when I did something, you know? But it meant a lot to me. All right, let's talk about Mr. Philip A. Bear. How are we doing, young man? Let's do a TV handshake right here. So tell us where you hail. Where are you from, Philip? I'm from Iota, Louisiana. You're from Iota, huh? You went to yes, school sir. over there and everything? Oh, yeah. You went all the way through the 12th grade? No, I did not. You, didn't you went to work? <laughs> well, yeah. I you had some work I to do. To work. Oh, yeah. yeah, I understand that. You got any kids? I got two. Well, give their names in case they're going to be listening when this show plays. My little girl, Sawyer Alex, and my little boy, Briggs Philip A. Bear. So very good, man. At what stage of your life did you decide, I want to play Cajun accordion? Uh, I was about 10 or 11 years old. My grandpa did the jam sessions at the American Legion there in Iota. And then uh, I picked it up about three years ago. Okay, all right, all right. And you're having a good time with it? Oh, yeah, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. I'm going to say, like I just told another young guy, Kobe, that's over here, the, the fact that you got some veterans in your band says a lot for your talent and your uh, spirit as well, that they want to play with you right there, man. So uh, I like it, man. Keep doing what you're doing. What are we going to do next? Something called the Love Bridge Walls. Love Bridge Walls, La Vasta Por Amor. <laughs>
back to the Swamp Road TV show with Film Live here at Black Gold Casino in Tucson. Got to thank our big sponsor, LaughAirTravel.com. Get on the internet, go to LaughAirTravel.com. They help make this show possible. Festival season is very much underway, but there's always something going on in Lafayette, so LaughAirTravel.com is going to help you plan that trip. Tonight, we got Philip Baybear and the Crazy Cajun. I think so we're going to talk to some, some of those people, right? I, I, I know some of these people. I know a few of them. In fact, I don't know where that steel guitar coming from. Uh, this guy right here, I've seen him on this show a few times and I've seen him at performances. And I love the fact that he came from way far away from his homeland to be over here. Tell us your name, where you live, and where you hail from. My name is Henry Hempel. I live in Grand Coteau, Louisiana, and I hail from New York. From New York. So, Henry, what was your motivation? What was your door opener? Then what, at what point you decide I'm moving out here? You want the real story? Yes. Well, it involved a young lady. It usually does. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I moved down here in 2007, and I've been here ever since. Well, it sounds great. You fit right in with this culture, and you sound great on your vocals as, as well. Of course, your fiddle playing as well. Thanks. Uh, you look like a guy that probably plays almost every instrument. Well, I mainly play guitar and fiddle, but I teach a lot of instruments that I don't play. Yeah, yeah. Well, you well, teach them that you don't I, play. I play the drums, but, you know, Joel's a much better <laughs> drummer than me, for example. But I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Thank you for appreciating this culture. Thank you for helping out all these musicians. I got a, I got way back in the corner if I can get up there with him. Oh, yeah. You don't have no shoes on. I'm jealous now. Let's see if we can make this happen. Let's see. Let go like this. So tell us your name, where you hail, and what grade you in. <laughs> Joe Morvana from Iowa, Louisiana. Joe Morvana from Iowa, Louisiana. Give him a holler, y'all. Y'all pass by there all the time. So you play with some other bands currently or in the past? Give me some names. Uh, August Broussard, uh, Irvin McFarlane. I, I played with several people, mainly August Broussard. Well, sounds great the way you're holding on the bottom right there. So now when I pass through Iowa, I'm going to think about you right there. Move on. All right, I got the drummer right there. Oh, uh, he, look, he gets to sit down the whole gig, but he also has to set this up and pick it up when everybody else leaves right there. You name it, where you hail, and who you played with in the past. Uh, my name's Joel Trahon. Can I say Klondike on the air? Oh, yeah. uh, I'm from Klondike, Louisiana, just south of Lake Arthur. Uh, I'm, uh, what was the next question? Uh, next question is, uh, can you get me some ducks and geese? Uh, you live in Klondike? Yeah, I'm from Klondike. That's why I couldn't remember the last question. But <laughs> so, uh, some bands you play with currently or, uh, or in the past? Uh, I played with a little local band in Jenny. It's called the Backdoor Band for about 15 years. And then uh, met Philip. We were at a little jam session at uh, DI's in Iowa, and I begged him to play with him. And he said, yeah, for some reason. Crazy. You begged him, and he said yes. Well, thank you all for helping out this young guy right here. And he's got a good passion, and he's got a great smile, and he sounds like a pretty good accordion player to me as well. Who's that stranger you're talking to, little buck? I always get, I always get the toughest job in the room. And I, I, he said, you got to... You got to talk to the guy playing steel guitar, and I came up. He's like, I'm not doing no interviews. And I said, no, they told me I got to interview you. And he, he, he's, I don't know, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask him his name and where he's from, and we we'll see if he gives correct information. If not, we'll maybe run it on the bottom of the screen. So, Mr. Steel Guitar Player, your name and where you're from. My name is John DeSonier, and I hail from Scott, Louisiana. How about a hand from Johnny Sonje from Scott, Louisiana? And, uh, well, we, I, I, would, I would ask you who you play with, but we would have to do a whole nother show. But the name itself, Johnny Sonje, uh, says it enough. You are a true icon in Cajun music. Not really. No, you are. And you're very, you're no, ve not. You're very humble about it. And I want to thank you for what you do. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. I really do. Uh, you, you, you play accordion. You play steel guitar. You probably play everything else. We just, I, well, I, I haven't seen it personally. To be honest, my first instrument was drums. You see, I yeah. played drums for eighteen years, and you in Cajun music. And you build accordions, and you build steel guitars, and you keeping the music going. Yeah, yeah. And you I like helping out young accordion players like him. Uh, him right there, <laughs> not a good friend of mine. I was, he, 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 I, I was gonna say that you, you, you very much are involved with the young musicians. Yeah, I am. I, I really love it because if people like me don't help the younger musicians, it's gonna die. 
How about a hand right there? Yes, How about indeed. a hand for Johnny? So you. Say Johnny it again. Sunday. Say it again. Say it again, Johnny. Just like that. If people like me, and I'm, all, I'm not just me, people, musicians like me in the older generation don't help these younger generation, Cajun music will die. Woo! You gave Thank it you, good. Johnny Sonia. Give Thank it a you. goosebumps right we there. We appreciate you. How about a hand? We, they got some more line out. Swap and Roll TV show, Philip A. Bear and the Crazy Cajuns. <laughs>
jolie blonde Ta guitare Pour ton année Ta laine A les bras de Tunisot Châti Quel espoir De la mer Pour mon voir to the Swamp Roll TV show coming to you from Black Gold Casino in Dusan. You can come here anytime, but we film every other Wednesday. Be a friend of a Swamp Roll show on Facebook and you'll know when the next show is. I just ask them, what's going to be the next song? One of my favorite, because I grew up in Ville Platte, which is right next to Grand Prairie. And I want to send this out to t Jam. From the band, Philip Hebert and the Crazy Cajuns, La Vaz de Grand Prairie. Take it away, fellas. <laughs>
Aujourd'hui la vie est belle Si content de tout cela La maison Tout l'amour j'ai pour toi Cher bébé Moi je connais sa grand prairie So, Lil Buck, it's been a great show right here, huh? I, I think so. The cameraman just threw me off, but yeah, it's a great show. Oh, he, well, put it, he, he put he, his hand up like it was going to come He threw you off? Is, you mean like, like he this? Put his, like he put this? his hand up like he was going to oh. come down. Uh, maybe he wanted a high five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I'm jealous. I got to get a high five, too. Hey, how about a hand? We have to give a sponsor, uh, a sponsor list in a little bit. In fact, let's go ahead and do our sponsor list right now. Let's put them on the top of the line right now. One Trick Pony, Black One Oak Casino, pony, Rascal's Cajun Restaurant, ShopRite Tobacco Plus, Tokyo Spa, Lafayette Travel.com, Purple Peacock, Music Machine, Jeans Food Store, and everybody else. It takes all those sponsors to make this show possible. And we thank you all for watching. We thank all our folks that come out here. Some come every week regardless. So we, every time we do the show, we appreciate that a whole lot. And if you want to keep up, oh, what's the next band and when will it be? What's the best way to the book? Facebook fan page. Just type in Swamp and Roll Facebook. And don't forget about YouTube. You can even subscribe to, to Swamp and Roll on YouTube, I believe. And it's going to let you know when there's a new recording up there. And you can watch it without prescribing as well. It's just terrific right there. So a lot of these bands, this shows will all be on YouTube besides KDCG.com. All right. So that pretty much do it. It's been a great show. And uh, I think Philip did a great job. Absolutely. And he's got some great guys in his band, which says a lot about his ability and his personality. We thank that. So, in the words of my low time radio and TV co-host, Joe, Dr. Feelgood Burge, from his favorite son, Lil Buck Burge, until next time. Behave your damn self. Take it away, fellas. <laughs>